Hello. I just watched a video about Chris Watts and the title of it basically is implying that it was the mistress, Nicole Kessinger, that did it. Or the title of it was, did Chris Watts actually kill anyone? And so I'm trying to keep an open mind about it because I feel like that what I don't know, I feel like he did do it, but what I don't know, and I'm going to pull some cards. I've been shuffling them as I've been watching this because I have a few questions. I didn't write them down. The first question that I want to ask is, did, um, did Nicole kill Shanann? Okay. okay. Well, right out of the jump, we have Justice card. So, <laughs> the Justice card upright, that's like the wheels of justice, injustice, karma, accountability, integrity. So the wheels of the justice card upright, I think is saying that Chris being in jail is the right thing, that they got justice right. We'll see though. Um, what else does justice mean? <laughs> we'll put it we'll put it together in the story. The next card that we got is the magician upside down. And the magician is also connected the Hierophant and the Moon Secrets. So manipulation, greed, trickery, convincing, and wasted resources. So I'd definitely say the justice was served with the justice upright, but the magician upside down. Manipulation, greed, and trickery. All right, that's pretty self-explanatory. Then we got the Three of Pentacles upside down. <laughs> so maybe actually okay this is apathy conflict ego lack of teamwork competition might have tapped into nicole's feelings because i know she was competitive with shenan the next one we got was the eight of swords upside down so that's freedom hopeful empowered healing and surrender Oh boy. The next one we got was the two of wands. Planning, first steps, making decisions, and taking risks. So it's definitely a teamwork decision. I think that it's saying Chris surrendered to Nicole because she was super manipulative. All right. I'm going to clear these cards. I want to know what was... Okay, I want to ask... The questions I want to ask, I want to know... What was Shanann thinking when she got home from her trip? She had just gotten home from Arizona. She went for the weekend. And I want to know, what was Shanann thinking when she got home from her trip? I think it was at like 2 in the morning. But I feel like... All right, let's try. I feel like these cards just want to talk about Nicole. I mean, I guess it did. I, yeah, okay. Let's start with, okay, what was Shanann, all right, was Nicole, what was Nicole? Oh, I'm going to start with Shanann. Okay, here we go. What was Shanann thinking when she got home from her trip and Chris woke her, did she get to go to sleep in the middle of, did she, okay, we have one question. What was Shanann feeling when she got from, home from her trip in Arizona? She was insecure. She felt negligent. Yeah, okay. So 
there was some text messages between her and Chris, and it was pretty much like, you know, when your relationship sucks ass, and she's, this is, the magician just came back up for this, um, upside down again, so manipulation, greed, trickery, wasted resources, so in those text messages, she was asking Chris if he was having an affair, and one of her girlfriends said to go through his phone, which I want to give her props because she didn't do that, which I think is awesome, but um, the next one is confusion, slander, oh, sorry, it's the seven of swords upside down, blackmail, oh, oh my god, oh, whoa, wait a second, okay, so the seven of swords upside down is slander, being outsmarted, coward, and a black, and blackmail, oh, oh, huh, Oh, that's something to keep in mind. The King of Swords upright is detached. Chris was super detached in those text messages. Then the Empress upside down is insecurity, smothering, and lack of progress. That's back to Nicole. Okay, this is telling a bigger story. Then the next one's High Priestess upside down. Secrets, confusion, blocked intuition, and hidden motives. All right, let's see here. Did Shanann? I'm going to ask this question. Did Shanann see Nicole the night she got home from her trip? Oh, jeez. That guy just jumped right out. Oh. All right. So we got the Nine of Pentacles upside down. We just got the exact same cards upside down again. What does extortion mean? We also got the six of oh pentacles. Got a lot of pentacles in this hand. We got the nine oh three, six, and nine of pentacles. Huh. was a little puppet. Alright. Three, six, and nine of pentacles. I wonder what that means. I need some clarifier cards. What does what are you telling me? Let's ask it a different way. Was what was Chris's feelings when Shanann got home from her trip in Arizona? The devil. Oh, that's fucking great. Actually, that's pretty, uh... Alright. Cards are hot. What was... What did Chris... What did Chris feel? Oh, my God. Man, the Hierophant's back. Punishment, cruelty, and flexibility. The Five of Cups. Disappointment, mourning, regret. That's kind of like the um, hermit. like a, It's just like a solitary. Then the next one's Page of Cups upside down. Childish, attention-seeking, insecurity, and escaping. And then the Ace of Swords is clarity. Anything with an ace is a new beginning. All right. What part did Nicole have in this? <laughs> oh my God. She sucks. <laughs> wow.
Hmm. You guys, every single card I just pulled is like, if, if I could pull cards to give us a murder plan, we've got the Eight of Wands upside down. That's losing momentum, chaos, so that's like the Tower card. Then we got the Chariot upside down. So the Chariot's like what it sounds like, you know, now we'd, I'd use that as a car. That's upside down, powerless, misdirection, conflict, forceful. So there we go. So we have chaos, forceful, instability, family disputes. That's the Ten of Pentacles upside down. And then we got, oh my gosh, Six of Cups, stuck in the past, upside down, Six of Wands. Oh, six, six. Oh, boy. Hmm. Okay, well, we've got two sixes. Ah, oh, here's our last six. So we got three sixes. Holy fuck. Okay, so we have the Six of Cups upside down. All right, so this is our murder plan. Chaos. Misdirection, dispute, the chariot. Okay, sorry. Um, eight of Wands upside down. Chaos. Chariot upside down is like everything's falling apart, misdirection, no one knows what the fuck's going on. Ten of Pentacles upside down, family disputes, debt, instability, that's explaining Chris. Then we have the Six of Cups upside down, stuck in the past, boredom, growing, growing up, independence. Then we have the Six of Pentacles upside down, selfishness, debt, strings, attached gifts. I think this is part of the blackmail. Then we have the Six of Wands upside down, Lack of achievement, failure. Then we have the Two of Swords. Indecision, delay, blocked off. Then we have the Nine of Cups. That's the only one that we have that's not a murder rap. Then we have the Eight of Cups upside, right? And that's abandonment, withdrawal, loneliness, most emotional. King of Wands, upside down, weak. And we have the Queen of Wands, and that is low confidence. I need to take, I'll remember that we got three, so we got three, six, nine in the first round. Then we got three sixes upside down. And I'm not superstitious, but I'll let you come to your own conclusions. Okay, was Nicole blackmailing Chris? Got the six. All right, I'm going to call up. Was Nicole blackmailing Chris? <laughs> yes, she was. The first card we got, the Empress, upside down. Lack of progress, smothering, insecurity, negligence. Then we got the Three of Pentacles, upside down. Conflict, ego, lack of teamwork. This is the third time we've gotten this three of pentacles upside down. And then we got the star. This is really dark and fucked up. Okay, so she was blackmailing him. Okay. Um, what do we need to know about Nicole's part in this? Did she, Okay, what do we need to know about Nicole's part in this? Oh, there we go. Guess what? We got the death bowl. All right, nine of wands. Refusing to compromise. We got the devil. That explains itself. We got the king of cups. The hanged man. Fucking little bitch, Chris. We got queen of swords, knight of cups, and the lovers upside down. Oh. Okay. Show me clearly. This isn't as clear to me as I want it to be, but what this is saying is 
she was refusing to compromise. She was fueled by addiction, obsession, material, the devil upright, the lovers upside down, bad choices, arguments, procrastination, confusion, the hanged man, upside right, sacrifice, uncertainty. Chris was trying to be diplomatic with her. I think she smothered him. All right, there we go. Okay. What was her motive? What was Nicole Kessinger's motive? Oh, whoa, well, whatever this card is. What? What was Nicole Kessinger's motive? This is really fucked up. I think she genuinely, genuinely just wanted to fuck his home up. There, I think that he and Shanann, okay, so what I'm looking at is Page of Pentacles, upside down. Immature, lazy, poor prospects, procrastinator. The Ten of Cups, upside down. Separation, conflict, disharmony, isolation, unhappy home. See, I think she wanted to just fuck his house up. Because the Two of Cups comes up, and I feel like that's like Shanann and Chris's connection. What was her motive? Did she just want to fuck his life up? Is she that smart? Okay, wait, just one question. Did she really want to fuck his life up, or did she want his life? Does she want to be a part of his life? <laughs> oh my fuck. <gasps> what the fuck? She got the Eight of Swords upright. And we got the Four of Pentacles upside down. It's reckless. Oh no. Yeah, reckless spending. Cards are just jumping out. And I mean, not one or two, like, handfuls of them. Okay, the next one. Higher fin upside down. We've gotten that before. That's cruelty and punishment. King of Wands upside right. We've gotten that one. The Tower. Guys, I think she just wanted to fuck his life up. What? So we just got the Tower upside right. We got the Eight of Cups upside right. It's loneliness. And we got the Ten of Wands upside down. That's a breakdown. And the Five of Swords is deception, bullying, abuse. I can't believe this. She literally just wanted to fuck his life up. Did she want him to kill her? Let me ask another question. Did Nicole want Chris to kill his family? Was that Nicole's idea? Jeez. <sighs> okay. Yes! Fucking kidding me. We just got the exact same cards again. Two cups upside right. That's, I think that's Shanann and Chris. The Eight of Swords upside right. That's like, I mean, if you look at it, she's like trapped and imprisoned. Then we got the Four of Pentacles and then we got the Tower. And that's like, the Tower is exactly what it sounds like. Like the Tower is crumbling like, is it London Bridge is falling down? It's like upheaval. Just, I mean, this means like your life is completely crumbling. Or it could be an event in your life. But since we've seen the murders plot pretty much lined out, I don't know why I'm feeling like I'm not getting the answers I want. I don't know what I want to hear. 
Was Shanann awake when you killed her? Okay, wait. I have two questions. The first question is, was Shanann awake when he killed her? One card. Three of wands. Looking ahead. Yep. Okay. So she was awake. Okay, next question. Was Chris... I'm going to just do one card. Okay. Um, one question... I mean, one card... Was Chris alone when he killed Nicole? I mean, I'm sorry, when he killed Shanann. Well, the King of Wands. What would the King of Wands be? says he was alone. I mean, the king. The king doesn't need anyone. Give me... Alright, let's do four cards. Oh, jeez. Oh, my fucking god. The next card we got is the high priestess. So we got the king of wands and the high priestess. He wasn't alone. She was there when he killed her. And it was ruthless and violent. And because the King of Swords is upside down. And the Seven of Cups upside right is wishful thinking and delusion. So she was there. Was she hiding? Oh. Was Nicole hiding? Or did... Okay. Was Nicole hiding when Chris killed Shanann? Queen of Cups, she was right there watching her baby. What in the um, actual fucking shit, yeah? Okay, we got the Queen of Cups upside right. So she was there, she watched, she might have helped because she, he tried to do it rushed, he didn't do it well. Oh, I'm sorry, we have the Eight of Pentacles upside down. Then we have the Six of Swords upside down. Overwhelmed, instability, stuck, unresolved issues. And then it ends with the emperor. Upside right. Authoritative and stable. I wonder if she tried to kill her. No matter what, Chris was not alone when this happened. Nicole was there. Have they checked her phone records? What the fuck? Then this card just jumped out. The two of cups upside down. Disharmony, tension, withdrawal, rejection, separation. Did they check her phone right? Like, what the fuck? Okay. Did they... Oh, did they kill Shanann last? Oh, no, no, no. The kids were alive when they went out to the fire. Or the oil. Well, I guess that's just, like, what he said. Were the kids, okay, were the girls dead when Shanann got home that night? Queen of Wands. And we have the star upside down. Yeah, I mean, that's not a good thing. Yeah. Then the Empress. Oh. Shanann was pregnant. I wonder if the Empress was pregnant. Did they kill Shanann last? Just one card. Did they kill Shanann last? Oh, yep. We just got the Five of Cups upside down. And the Seven of Cups. Shanann was last. The girls were dead before Shanann got home. Did Chris have a psychic break? Wow. Yeah, I think he actually did. The Queen of Cups, upside down. Smothering, disloyal, shallow, and manipulative. I do think he had a psychic break. Nicole was there. Helped him kill her. The girls were already dead. He lied. Shocker. 
And yes, he did have a psychic break, though. I don't really feel like this is in his nature to do this. Like, this is very out of character. I really don't even feel like he did it. I feel like Nicole did it. I don't even feel him out at the... I feel like Nicole did all of this. I want to see her phone records. Yeah. Oh, this is like... The Hermit Upside Down, The Nine of Swords, Scandal, Breakdown, Malicious Gossip. I think that Nicole is the uh, El Diablo. The, uh, I don't even think he did it. I think that his thing, I don't know, that was that's a strong statement. I think Nicole did it. Okay, we're gonna end it on this. And <laughs> we're ending it on the Eight of Wands upside down. That's what we started it with. Unprepared, losing momentum, waiting in chaos. I think Nicole was in the house when Shanann got home. And I think she's actually the one that strangled her. And I think the kids were dead before Shanann even got home.